Well, praise God, people of God. I want you to continue to like and do share, share. Or right? give us some hearts, likes, and share. Uh, of course, every uh, month, I like to release a prophetic word. Uh, and of course, like I just said earlier in my introduction, uh, you know, it feels good to be doing a live, live video. Uh, you know, I haven't really done any live videos because of the busyness and the movement. And we've been doing a lot of pre-recorded lives. Uh, but it's good to be back in the studio and be live with you all. And today, uh, I'm giving you the prophetic word of the month for this month, April. And uh, if you're new to our ministry, uh, pretty much uh, every month, the Lord gives us divine revelation on what to expect for the new month, okay? Who here knows that God is a speaking God? And as the Bible says, He does not do anything on the earth unless He first reveals it to the prophets. So there's clarity. There's revelation. There's inspiration. Come on, somebody. There is uh, accuracy. There's details, okay? God is a detailed God. So uh, He wants to give us revelation in every season of our lives. So that uh, the word of God is a, a light and brings illumination. So, you know, in a sense, we uh, begin to prepare ourselves because we know what to expect. Okay. So in this month, uh, I want to talk about the month of April and what you can expect for this month. Amen. Are you all excited? Are you happy? Let me ask you real quick. Uh, have you been enjoying the month of March? Okay. I released the prophetic word for the month of March. That it's a month of marvel that you're going to receive new marching orders there's going to be miracles and multiplication and uh honestly march has been such an incredible month and i know even for myself in our ministry we've just been bewildered in awe of the goodness of god amen so i'm excited about today because uh we're about to transition into the month of april and i do want to welcome you to do subscribe to our YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Ben Lim Global, all right? Ben Lim Global, there's a lot of great, wonderful content. And also do like and follow me on our public page, okay? Ben Lim Global, praise God. And uh, I, I do believe I saw Ivana here, uh, but uh, I would like uh, to invite you to our new e-course. I have a new e-course called The Gift of Discernment. Uh, with myself, Prophet Jamie Galloway, and Dr. Keenan Bridges, who here knows that discernment is a very important and much needed uh, gift or manifestation of the Spirit in these days. Okay, don't be bewitched, don't be behooved, don't be deceived. All right, join this e course, and myself, Prophet Jamie, and Dr. Keenan, we want to teach you, give you revelation, release impartation on the gift of discernment. Amen. So go ahead and join us, and uh, I pray that Ivana, if you could just uh, post the link there, copy and paste, post the link, or Adrian, you could do that here since you're here anyways. It's on my website. All right, well, I want to go over uh, to the month of April. Praise God, all right? April, all right? I believe April is a month of April showers. Come on, somebody. Someone say April showers, all right? So uh, I want to go... Uh, into the Hebraic calendar, okay? I want to go to the Hebraic calendar, and from the Hebraic calendar with Revelation, then we're going to go into Scripture, then I'm going to go into prophetic revelation and teaching on what you can expect for this month of April. But somebody say April showers, amen? Somebody say April showers, all right? Of course, um, right now, we're actually in the Hebrew month of... Nissan. Someone say Nissan. We are in the Hebrew month of Nissan. And uh, uh, in about two weeks, it's going to transition into the Hebrew month of ER. Someone say ER. I-Y-A-R. Woo! I feel the Holy Ghost. All right. We're in the month of Nissan, and then we're going to shift into the month of ER. All right. Um, and so the month of Nissan is uh, a very important time because... It's where Passover takes place. Of course, we already know uh, Good Friday is this coming Friday. We have Easter. We have Resurrection Sunday. We have Easter. We have Passover. So it's a time of, of passing over where the curse is finished. Some say the curse is finished. You're leaving Egypt. You're gaining plunder. All right, praise God. You're gaining plunder, and you're moving forward, and you're advancing forward with signs, wonders, and miracles. So Passover is a time of new beginnings. Someone say new beginnings. 
All right, April is a month of new beginnings. Come on, somebody. And I'm going to be giving you three uh, prophetic keys, three prophetic points, actually, on what you can expect for this month of April. Three prophetic points on what you can expect for the month of April, all right? But this month, April, of course, in the month of April, we have Nisan, so I'm saying Nisan, and we also have ER, the two Hebrew uh, months. Nisan and ER, and Nisan is the first month of the of, of the new year, is the first month of the year as they leave Egypt, come on somebody, and as they become a nation. Someone say, I am becoming a nation. I feel the Holy Ghost. So Nisan is a month of miracles, it's a month of resurrection, it's a month of Passover, it's a month of plunder, come on, Roko. It's a month where you are plundering the Egyptians, your enemies, and you're leaving with bags full of blessings. And now ER, I love ER, someone say ER. ER uh, is actually the month, historically, where they created the second temple. Someone say second temple. So April is in the month of Nisan and ER. They leave Egypt. Years later, they build a second temple in the month of ER under April. So this is the month of new beginnings. April is a month of new creation. Come on, somebody. April is a month of new creations. No longer is he in the tomb, but he's risen, which means that God is giving you keys. So I'm going to say keys. Listen, I declare and I decree in this month of April, God is giving you keys. Come on. Someone say keys of death and keys of Hades. Come on. Someone say resurrection power. So April is a month of Revelation 118. I am he that lives and I was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of hell or death and Hades. Come on, somebody. I have the keys of death and Hades. So this is a month where you're resurrecting with keys to unlock regions, unlock blessings, to open up doors that have been closed. This is a month of opening. Some say opening. The tomb is opening. All right, the door is opening. The Red Sea is opening. You are leaving. You are moving. You are transitioning. You are marching forward. You are leaving Egypt. There's an opening. You have keys. You have entry. You are transitioning. You are moving through. Come on, day. April is a month where you're gaining keys in the spirit because you are resurrecting from the place of the old. All right? Someone say April. Someone say April is my month of April showers. Someone say, April is my month of keys. Sharabo Sotorabo. So once again, April is, in the Hebrew is the month of Nisan and is also the month of ER. Someone say, Nisan and ER. Nisan and ER. My gosh, I feel the Holy Ghost. And ER is the month where the Jewish people built the second temple. Again, come on, somebody. In the days of Nehemiah, Zerubbabel, that's when they built the second temple, which means second creation, new creation. Come on, a new body, second chances. So April is, in a sense, a month of second chances, new beginnings, second grace. I decree, declare, second chances. It's a second wind. A second wind is coming to you in this month of April. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. A second wind for your business, for your ministry. For your identity, for your prayer. It's a month of boom activation in the name of Jesus. Some say second wind. Some say second chances. And once again, I do want to welcome you. If you're just logging in now, give us some hearts and share, share, share. Amen. Praise God. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So some say April, of course, you know, uh, April. We celebrate Good Friday and Easter, Passover. But April, and he, here's my three prophetic points for you, all right? Three prophetic points. If, if you're receiving right now, someone say amen. If you are receiving right now, say amen. Here's my three prophetic points for you for this month of April. All right. Prophetic point number one. April is a month of springing forward. Someone say springing forward. My gosh. It's a month where you're getting a second wind. You're building the second temple again. It's a month where you're springing forward. 
out of the old. Okay, come on, somebody. Here's here's your verse for the month of April. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All things have become new. Declare with me. All things have have become new. The winter has passed. The winter is over. The ice is thawing. The snow is melting. The cold is leaving. All things are made new. Something new. So it's a month of springing forward. How about this? Isaiah 43, 19. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Are you hearing a repetition? A repetitive phrase? I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Come on, somebody. It is springing forth all the way from a distance to spring. And April and Nisan, the month of Nisan in Hebrew, it is the month of spring. My gosh. It's the month of spring. Someone say spring. Someone say, I am springing forward in Jesus' name. You know, Nisan is the time. Uh, where it means rebirth and blossoming, where flowers are beginning to blossom and bud and bloom and blossom. Come on. I feel a super bloom in the spirit. Nisan also relates to, uh, in a sense, the Song of Solomon. Okay. Nisan also relates to Song of Solomon, which means to bud and blossom in love. Wow, because springtime, come on somebody, Shagababa, springtime, Shagababa. So, Nisan is a month where things are springing forward, flowers are blooming and blossoming, it's spring, hallelujah. I want to declare over you, the winter has passed, the frozen chosen is thawing and melting away. And then April is a month where you're springing forward, do you not perceive it? It's springing forward from a distance. Someone say amen. All right. So first prophetic point of this month, April, spring forward. All right. Number two, showers of the supernatural. My gosh. We already know April is a month where they left Egypt. The Red Sea was split in two. The angel of death did not touch the people of God. There was redemption, vindication, justice. There was recompense. Come on, God showed up. They left Egypt finally, praise God. And as they left Egypt, Passover, which is actually resurrection, Yeshua, Jesus, who's the Passover lamb, died as a Passover lamb, and his blood was ripped and torn apart, and we partook of his body in the Last Supper. And as we had the Pesach Passover Seder dinner, we took that blood and smeared on the doorpost. So therefore the angel of death passed by. And, and as we're hiding out in the home, as the angel of death passed by, now we're able to quickly leave and quickly move and quickly rush out of Egypt and spring out from death to life, from death to resurrection. So this is a month of showers of the supernatural. I'm telling you, supernatural occurrences are going to take place. Resurrection, miracles. Dead raising, so koto, life, 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 life in the name of Jesus. It's a month where God's just going to shower you with the supernatural. Come on, somebody. Someone say, I receive the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Okay, April is a month where you're going to see signs and wonders like never before. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the power of Jesus. In fact, this is the centrality of the gospel and of our faith, of our Christian faith, the centrality that Jesus died and he rose again, that Jesus died and on the third day he rose again. So get ready for a third day anointing, get ready for a third day resurrection, get ready for the third day, the Trinity, the triune blessing, the triple, triple, triple blessing. Get ready for the triune third day anointing of resurrection power to take place in your life. There's a centrality of the gospel. The old is dead. The old is past. And the new has come. Someone say new. 
Get ready for showers of the supernatural. I'm telling you, people of God, God's about to release supernatural power, miracles, and signs and wonders in this month. He's rolling away the tomb. I want to prophesy. He is rolling away the tomb right now. Come on, this is so good. That tomb, that rock that was so heavy, that was actually roped up and sealed with the signet ring. It was like a chain and a lock and there were guards there. Come on. God will remove the guards, will go through the chain and the lock, and you will move a heavy stone to get you out of the pit. I said you're coming out of the pit. God will do that. So that's what's happening in this month, in this time. He's removing the burden. He's removing the shame. He's removing the slander. He's removing the heaviness, the yoke of bondage. He's removing it. He's removing. And you're about to get let loose. Someone say, I'm about to get crunk in here. You're about to get let loose in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Rabatande. So April is a month, amen, of... April is the month of spring and forward. Someone say, I am spring and forward. Listen, I want to declare over you. Listen, hear these words. I feel this by faith and in the spirit. The, uh, the economy uh, of America, we're going to see a surge and an increase in the next few weeks, in the month of April. I feel, I sense around this time, because remember, around Passover, Pentecost, the Jewish feasts, biblical feasts, God's timeline. There's always cycles that begin to happen because it always is connected to the to the moon and the sun and it's connected to um, uh, harvest times, agricultural harvest. So Shikarabata and of course April, which is Nissan. Nissan is also connected to the barley harvest. I said harvest. Get ready for supernatural harvest. I see. The commerce, even though Joe Biden is, is ruining America right now, but God will not let the United States be ruined, amen? But I see supernatural commerce taking place in the month of April. If you receive that, say amen. We're going to see increase and surge in the economy of America. Mark these words, people of God. I said it in the name of Jesus. So April is a month of spring and forward. April is also a month of supernatural showers, supernatural blessings. Amen. Come on. Zokoroto. And my third prophetic point for this month for you is April is a month where God is setting you apart. Whew. God is setting you apart. April is the first month of the year. And of course, uh, Rosh Hashanah is also the first month of the year. So there's, in a sense, it's not a contradiction. There's two first months of the years because there's two different calendars. Okay, There's two different calendars uh, to the Jewish people. But it's a month where you're being set apart as the people of God. God is setting you apart from Egypt. He's setting you apart from death. He's setting you apart from the old. He's setting you apart. April is a month where God is drawing the line in the sand and he's setting you apart and saying you are a new creation. You're different from them. You're different. You're, you're new. You've changed. You've evolved. You've, you've matured. You've grown. April is a month where you are a new creation. He's setting you apart. He's sanctifying you in the name of Jesus. You are holy. Come on, somebody. Even as you clean out the leaven, someone say leaven. As you clean out the yeast of the Pharisees, of the world, sin, secret sin, secret habits, as you begin to clean out your soul. Remember, in the springtime, what do we do? We sweep our house clean. We do spring cleaning. Someone say spring cleaning. April's a month of spring cleaning. Why? Because they clean out the leaven, the yeast, as they make the bread, as they make uh, bread in their homes. There's all this yeast, all these little bits and pieces, and, and they begin to sweep it all out. Come on, sweep out the old things. You sanctify. It's a month of sanctification. April is a month of being set apart. April's a month where you sweep the old things away. You sweep 
your home, your kitchen, your room, your bank accounts clean. Come on, somebody. I decree, I decree, declare. And this is a month where God is sweeping things clean, spring cleaning. Some say spring cleaning. Some say, I receive my spring cleaning in my heart, in my mind, and my soul. I receive the spring cleaning. Clean out the leaven, sweep me clean, sanctify me inside and out. Hundabad the hey, even as I left Egypt, I pray that Egypt will leave me. Even as I left the yoke of Pharaoh, I pray that any thoughts of Pharaoh will leave my mind. April is your month. Come on, somebody. Of spring cleaning. It is a month of being set apart. God is about to set you apart. Come on. As you trust in the Lord, as you are willing to bear your cross, come on somebody, as you are willing to die and to be like the Lamb of God, to be persecuted, to go through the rock and the heart, as you're willing to carry your cross, as you're willing to trust in Him, Father, not my will, but your will be done. Abba, not my will. But your will be done as you're willing to surrender to the Lord. He will set you apart. Like a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. He will set you apart. Like a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. This is that month. That month. That month. That month, that month, that month, that month. I declare he's about to set apart your finances. He's sanctifying you. He's setting you apart. He's sanctifying you from your enemies, from your old habits, from what you would have done in the last season. Jesus Christ. Lift up your hands to the Lord. I feel the presence of God. What an important, significant month. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I hear the Lord saying, as you're willing to honor me in death, I will honor you in life. This is the centrality of our Christian faith. This is what makes us different from Judaism. Although our roots are connected to Judaism, this is what makes us different from Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, atheism, universalism, the one world order. This is what makes us different from New Age. We believe in Jesus. We believe in the Passover Lamb. We believe in the Lamb of God that died at the hands of of evil, wicked men and became the curse and be took our sin. He came born of a virgin birth, fulfilling prophecy as a God, man, man, God. And as a man, God, as a Jewish man, he walked sinless. He walked in relation with the Father and the Holy Ghost. And he took his cross Bearing our sin, shame, and punishment. Becoming death. And he died. But because he was sinless, he had the power to rise again. Eloi, Eloi, la sabachthani. Eloi, Eloi, la sabachthani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? If you honor the Lord in death, then he will honor you in his life. I want to pray for you, people of God, because this month of April 
It's a month where God's going to set you apart. It's a month where The tomb is rolling away. The shame is rolling away. The slander is rolling away. The impossibilities are rolling away. The angels in the spirit right now. Even as the angels of the Lord accompany Jesus to the tomb, as the angels of the Lord were sitting where his body laid, and as the people came in, there's angels accompanying you. There's angelic activity. There's victory. Resurrection. Some say victory. There's victory. Resurrection. Pharaoh can't hold you down. The plot of Herod and the Pharisees, the religious spirit, cannot hold you down. The religious spirit cannot hold you down. Ho! Oh! I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Some say April is my month of springing forward. Some say April is my month of supernatural showers. Some say April is my month of being set apart. It's going to be such an incredible month. I just feel the fire of God. I feel the fuego de Dios. I feel the fire. He's no longer here. He is risen. I'm no longer there. I've risen. I've elevated. I've come up high. I'm no longer there. I'm a, I'm a new person. I've become better. I'm no longer there. You are no longer there. I've risen. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you, people of God, in this month of April, because April is a month where he's going to set you apart. Lift up your hands to the Lord. I thank you for my friends watching right now. I pray, Spirit of God, Holy Ghost, I pray that you would just begin to move and deliver and heal and resurrect. And I thank you for dreams coming alive. As April is known as April showers, as Nissan is known as the springtime, things budding and blossoming and opening up. I declare open doors. I declare open season, open gates, open heavens, open doors, open windows. Manda Kandoroko, Rabande, get ready for suddenlies. Get ready for uh, the flowers of God to begin to bud, bloom, and blossom. Lord, I bless my friends. Supernatural showers, miracles being set apart, Lord. Father, I thank you as we're able to partake of the Passover lamb, as we're able to partake of the flesh, the blood of your son, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that we get to be like him, holy, kadosh, sanctified, separated. God is separating you and sweeping you clean. Such a presence, such a fire and fear of the Lord. Some say hallelujah. I want you to lift up your hands to the Lord. Rabba Taraba la Ladish, Karabraska la Ladish, Karabrus, Karababa. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
You took my sins and you healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. I am the God that he lives in. I am the Lord, your healer. I took your sins and I healed my disease. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the God that he lives in. I am the Lord. Your healer, I took your sins and I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the Lord, your healer. Lord, I thank you for my friends watching today. Bless them. Bless them. Some say hallelujah. Wow. I'm just so rocked by the presence of God. God bless you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Listen, I have a new e-course called The Gift of Discernment. All right, if you want to grow in your gift of discernment, join us in this uh, e-course. You're going to be blessed, all right? Five-part e-course on the gift of discernment with myself, Prophet Jamie Galloway, Dr. Keenan Bridges. You're going to be blessed. Alana, can you please release the uh, the link to that, okay? And also, listen, next week, someone say next week. Next week, we're going to be in Arizona. Arizona Glory Convergence, all right? It's myself, Eddie James, Katie Souza, Suzanne Hand, Georgian Banoff. What a lineup. Next week, I'm going to be in Arizona. Do join us, all right? If you're from the surrounding area, fly in, drive in. It's going to be a time together like none other, all right? So our Arizona Glory Convergence, it's going to be powerful. We're going to be in the Phoenix Mesa area. It's just next week. And uh, you, you can um, also... Uh, RSV to watch online, okay, to watch online, or you can be there in person. I encourage you, come, 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 be with us. It's going to change your life. If you know any friends in the Arizona area, share the link with them, all right, hallelujah. Invite them, bless them. It's going to be a time together like none other, amen. Well, thanks for watching, friends. I love you, hallelujah. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bless you. And I speak many, many, many blessings to you that uh, in this month of April, you will see April's shower of supernatural. Amen. God bless you. And listen, I want you to comment below what spoke to you the most. Okay. What spoke to you? What encouraged you? What did, what's your biggest takeaway? What's your biggest takeaway from this prophetic word of the month of April? Amen. God bless you.